Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. One thing I'm definitely not going to do is multiply x minus 5 out 5 times, nor with this one or this one. There has to be a workaround. So first we're going to use the fact that a to the x times b to the x is equal to ab to the x. So this to the 5 times this to the 5 is just this times this to the 5. And we can also use the property that c to the de is equal to c to the d to the e. That means we're going to rewrite x minus 2 to the 10 as x minus 2 to the 2 to the 5. And the cool thing about this is we now have something to the fifth and something to the fifth, so we can take the fifth root of both sides. This fifth root and this 5 will cancel, which means that we now have x minus 5 times x plus 4 equals x minus 2 squared. And we can rewrite the x minus 2 squared as x minus 2 times x minus 2. Now we can just multiply these out. x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, and negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. And this is going to be equal to x times x, which is x squared, x times negative 2, which is negative 2x, negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. Both sides of the equation have a single x squared term, so I'm going to subtract that away. And then for the remaining stuff, let's combine like terms. 4x minus 5x is negative x, and let's bring down the negative 20, and this will be equal to negative 2x is negative 2x is negative 4x, and bring down the 4. We now have x on both sides of the equation. Let's try to get all the x's to the left-hand side, so we're going to add 4x to both sides. And I want to get x alone on one side, so I don't want this 20 here, so I'm going to add 20 to both sides. The negative 20 and the 20 are going to cancel each other out, so we're just left with negative x plus 4x, which is equal to 3x. And then this negative 4x and positive 4x get rid of each other, so we're just left with 24 on the right-hand side. After we divide both sides by 3, we get x is equal to 8. And that is the answer to the question. We can put a box around it. Let's check the answer and make sure it works. So let's copy this down from the top, and let's plug in 8 for each of those x's. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3, and 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So here's another example of a to the x times b to the x that we can just rewrite as a b to the x. So this could become 3 times 12 on the inside, which changes into 36. And 36 is equal to 6 squared. And then we can multiply these exponents. We get 6 to the 10. And now we have 6 to the 10th power equals 6 to the 10th power. It checks out. How exciting.